Hello, my beautiful party people. My hair is wild, but that's okay. I got some new products today and I was playing with them. We are notifying your viewers that you're live. Amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So. It's Black Friday weekend. It is. You know? It is. So crazy. How are we all going? Lovely to see you guys. <sighs> I do not. I do not. How are you guys doing? Curious to see how everyone is. If this is your first time catching me live, let me know. I'd love to understand. I feel like I've been a stranger on live. I've been a stranger. You too. How is everyone going? My girl said she was going to join. Potentially. I see your guy here. Oh, is Josh there? I see your guy oh here. Oh my god. Hey, Josh. I miss you. We haven't had a call in such a while. Oh my god. I love him so much. He is so amazing. Do you hear her? She's I'm just gonna gushing. Brag on my guy. I'm going to brag on my guy. She's gushing. You know, we've we've knighted him. You know that, right? I know. Yeah, he's a knight now. I know. I know. He's looking out for us. First time here. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Oh, I have some first time individuals. Oh my God, I love it. Is it your first time ever catching me live? Like, first time kind of really knowing and understanding about me? I'm curious. Over here, for anyone who may be new, because I have been out of going live consistently. Um, I, I teach a lot of stuff on live. I tend to go into these like lectures and I just kind of like see what are the main themes that are coming up and then go into these lectures on, you know, how I help people <laughs> resolve these problems. Um, we have a lot of success stories also though that we wanted to kind of highlight and celebrate. First time live with you. I love oh that. Oh my goodness, we're getting new people. I know, I, I love, love it. I love that. So. Typical strategy is sometimes I come on with like a very intentional, we're going to talk about this for the next one hour. And I'm going to give you essentially like a free masterclass of what this is all about. This time we want to also open up to some questions to see what are the common themes that you guys are struggling with because I've been out of touch with going live in a minute. I know we had a request from your client that you just got off of the call with about timing. Timing. Like, why is it taking so long? Mm -hmm. And two, why do other people get results quicker? And I already know the answer to that. Yeah. But some people like to talk about it. Okay. Well, I because, mean, we can start there. Yeah. Yeah. So my take is this. Yeah. So I'm doing the work and I'm putting in the work for self-concept and I'm putting the work for SP, but... It's just taking too long. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because it's either A, you don't believe in the law. B, it's a concept issue or it's a concept issue of them. Yeah. It's only three things it's going to ever be. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, okay, so let's talk about self-concept. Is it <clears throat> that you don't feel worthy? Mm -hmm. Do you feel abandonment? It's something we need to talk about. Yeah. That's hanging it up. Or, yeah. well, other people are getting results. Where's my result? You can't do that. You can't focus on what's missing and get what's not there. We're going to keep hanging it up. Yeah. And we just can't be, be doing that. Yeah. So she wants us to elaborate maybe a little bit on that. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll definitely go into that. So just to start off, like why are other people getting results quicker than me? Um, or maybe what am I doing wrong? There's three main steps in terms of how to get love to come into your life. We're talking about love currently, obviously, right now with your client, right? Mm -hmm. But this works the same for money. This works the same for health. This works the same for everything. So the first thing is you don't have the self-concept that actually supports you getting the result. Meaning if I was to click my fingers right now and you had your person, place, thing, money, whatever it may be. She loves that where you do the teleport thing. Yeah. <laughs> if I was to click my fingers right now and you had exactly the person you wanted, Belinda had her ex back the way that she wanted, could you sustain it? So the first question I'd want to ask is, how are my personal insecurities going to ruin this relationship? Because even if I got it right now, 
Can I actually maintain it? Yes or no? And a lot of individuals, the answer is no, because they don't have a good sense of self-love, self-worth, self-concept. And self-concept is the thing that, whether we like it or whether we don't, resolves 99% of issues probably in majority of individuals' instances. There are very few people that I work with, although I do love them, and I wish I had more of them, that their self-concept is like a 10 out of 10. There's very few people that are in that type of category. And so it makes a lot of logical sense that when you start to work on self-concept, the people around you are going to start to react to you differently. Individuals in your life are going to start coming back from the past. And any person you may be after is going to start to act differently because energy responds to energy. Energy doesn't just work with the milkman and not the post office person the milkman huh you know it it works universally for everyone it's a universal law um i like when you said what the insecurities are that are coming up what are your personal insecurities what are the personal insecurities that are going to ruin this relationship and that's where you want to really look within and say okay where am i not feeling my best am i feeling insecure because i feel like i'm not good enough i'm not worthy i'm not deserving i'm not valuable i'm not chosen the men that come into my life they never go all in for me and these are subtle things these may not be things that you're thinking every single day all day on autopilot where it's like i'm so unworthy I'm so unworthy I'm so unworthy but the fact of the matter is whatever experiences you're having with men right now or whatever experiences you're not having with men who we're being dictates what we attract this this is just universal law this isn't Persis's law this is just universal law so you'll know where you're standing right now in terms of your point of attraction with men based on what treatment you're getting or not getting So if you look at your life right now, your love life, your money life, your business life, whatever it may be, and you audit it, how much do you like the results you're having? Mm. Well, right now, you're a perfect match to exactly that because that's your point of attraction. You're never going to out manifest your limitations. You have to let go of your limitations to get more than what you're getting. And so if you're in a scenario where you're not attracting what you want, it means you have too many limitations stacked against you that are preventing more results from coming in. The way that I like to think of this is imagine you have a backpack. Okay, you have a backpack and you have all these big, 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 big stones in the backpack. Maybe, you know, each stone represents a different part of your self-concept. Maybe your stone of like worthiness is like an 80 pound weight and it's holding you down. Maybe your sense of like beauty and, you know, feeling like pretty enough is only like five pounds and that's not really carrying a lot of weight. It makes a lot of logical sense that as you start to dissolve the resistance around the stones that weigh the heaviest, guess what? You're going to be able to move closer to the finish line faster. But right now, the reason you're not able to go to the finish line is because you're literally like, you know, like, how do I put it? You're, what is the word that I'm looking for? You're like passing out, out of exhaustion, because of the weight because of the weight that you're carrying and the weight is not even yours 99% of stories that we internalize are embellished embellished meaning that they're not even the actual truth of what happened but during a highly emotional time with you and your partner with you and money with you in business guess what the problem is and this is especially common with women but also with men we believe our feelings and so when your person made you feel like dirt when they made you feel not good enough when they made you feel not worthy when they made you feel not chosen not special through their actions through intentionally or not intentionally intentionally guess what's going to happen you're going to be in a scenario where because you felt all the feelings of unworthiness you felt all the feelings of inadequacy you felt all the feelings of not good enough guess what the quickest way to impress your subconscious mind in a millisecond probably less than that is through heightened emotions through heightened emotions. So when you had this excitatory emotion in your body happen when you found out they were cheating, when you found out there were other people involved, when you found out they didn't want to be with you, when you found out, insert your scenario here, your subconscious mind impressed with that story, whatever that story may be for you in an instant. Mm -hmm. And now it takes years 
years to undo that trauma. I'll paint you a quick picture here. Imagine it's like your high school sweetheart. Okay, imagine it's like your high school sweetheart. And in a singular moment, you find out that this person has cheated on you. What's gonna end up happening? You actually have a physiological response also. And that is storing emotions and heightened energy in the body in your long-term memory. So as soon as you find out that maybe this person is cheating on you, as an example, guess what happens? You get like a lump in your throat. Your tummy maybe starts to feel not so good. Your pulse starts to increase. You know what I mean? Maybe you might even start to feel faint. You might start to feel physically ill. Your BP is going to go up. Your pulse is going to go up. Your heart rate is going to go up. Your heart's going to feel like it's pounding out of your chest. You're going to have a physiological reaction coupled with an intense emotion. Now, maybe that could feel like betrayal, but maybe when you feel the feelings of betrayal, it makes you internalize the story in that moment. I must not be pretty enough. I must not be good enough. I must not be worthy enough. How could they do this to me? If I, if I was better or if I was more loving, more giving, maybe more kind, more understanding, they would have changed. Whatever story your brain went to in that moment, whoosh, it just absorbed into the subconscious mind. And now I want you to imagine the door has been locked. Now you have to reprogram the subconscious mind. And how do you reprogram the subconscious mind? With an intention and an elevated emotion, brain and heart. Brain and heart coherence. Hi, Jasmine. Jasmine is my lovely lady from like, she's like a day one, practically. Like a day one OG. Are you crushing on Jasmine? I'm so (laughs) crushing on Jasmine. Jasmine was my girly who came onto live and she was the one who got her husband back in 45 days. Okay. Sometimes people give me crap for the 90 day thing that I have, but it's literally just here to motivate you. Like if you're at rock bottom zero and you get 1% better Mm -hmm. in 90 days, you should have what you want because law of assumption states dominance rules. You, you could have what you want, but sometimes it does take longer. Yeah. And sometimes it does take longer and that's totally cool. And that's totally fine, but it's literally just a motivational thing. Absolutely. Um, but Jasmine, I remember the reason I say that is because Jasmine was in a scenario where, um, she was at like 45 days and she was like, am I doing something wrong because uh-huh. she's like some a lot of your clients get results in 30 days yeah. like why am I taking a little bit longer and I still remember that conversation Jasmine I remember even where I was when you messaged me I was at the pool uh-huh. I was at the pool and you messaged me and you're like you know because we had like a one month package we had done the king and queen package together and so that's only a 30 day package so she was like uh I don't know I'm gonna try to go off on my own I'm gonna try to do my thing and then she like messages me after one point in time and she's like he got me a ring we have a house we're gonna maybe try for another baby oh, okay. he's we're back together now he decided that you know he doesn't really want to see other people that that was the worst decision in the world mm-hmm. and it's like ah, <laughs> ah. That's so cute. I just love it. I love love. Forever crushing on you. Forever, forever, forever. As I'm so excited to start Elevate. Same. If you guys don't know about Elevate, I'm teaching you how to tap into like your feminine magnetism. This is like the program that you want to join if you want to understand how to get men obsessed with you. Like if you want to understand how to use your femininity to your superpower, how to like become ultra, ultra magnetic, how to learn how to communicate with men in a way where they understand how to set boundaries that actually makes them come in, how to, you know, heal yourself from the inside out. We're talking a lot about self-concept work. We're talking a lot about why does it take longer for some people than others? The real ultimate ultimate answer to that is because of the fact that some there's like I almost want you to imagine like a ship a little a little rowboat not even a ship a little rowboat like in Pirates of the Caribbean that you're sitting in and it's like you've got a bunch of holes plugged into the ship like holes in the ship that are sinking the ship it must mean that one of the holes are not plugged and that's why you're going down And that's why you're having like maybe opposite results or that's why things aren't moving. It's because maybe you're not actually addressing the wound or you have too many holes that are actually sinking you. Now, this can look like self-concept work. It can also look like when you have poor expectations of men, when you think that this this man is unreliable, when you think that this man is not going to change, when you think that maybe you're not even good enough or worthy for this man to change, guess what? 
He does not sit and surprise you. I think a lot of people, the issue and the problem that they're having, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is they want individuals to outwork their assumptions. And it's like, if you have an assumption that this person is not trustworthy, they're not going to surprise you on a Tuesday by being trustworthy. You have to go first. And a lot of times going first is the most difficult thing in the world to do. There's so much knowledge and education on manifestation, but honestly, like 90% of people don't have the results. Why is that? It's because people aren't helping them work through the deeper emotional trauma that they have with men, sure. with a man, with men as a whole. And some of this can even go back to like your childhood. Like the reason you're not getting more out of love isn't because like you're not trying hard enough. It may just be because you're tackling the wrong wound. Or, or you don't know the wound. Or you don't know the wound, which is totally fine. Um, or you're in a scenario where it's like, I want you to think of like tackling the wrong wound as like, imagine you have your knee busted open, but you're putting Neosporin on your elbow. You know what I mean? You've got to actually work on the exact limitations that are within your subconscious mind that are preventing you from going to the next level. And you know what these you know, beliefs are, you know what the problem is. Um, but a lot of times you just don't know how to do the deeper emotional work, the subconscious reprogramming. We have to reset your baseline in your brain. (laughs) We have to reset your baseline back to zero. We need to allow you to work through a forgiveness process with your guy, regardless of the pain that you've gone through, if you want them to change. Because the thing is, especially for individuals who are like, I want a specific person to come back and give me the world, I want you to understand that's 100% possible in this Elevate program. 100% possible. But it's only going to come with you taking radical responsibility for where you're dropping the ball. You can't think that they aren't shit and then get them to adore you. Definitely not happening. That's not going to work. I can't think all men are liars, all men are cheats, I'm not worthy, and then be like, where's the love of my life? Not happening. That's not going to happen. No one is going to be able to save you. You're the only one that can save you. And it comes from being able and open to go inward and actually look at where am I hurting? Because there's a huge difference between in between relationships in the past where maybe you get broken up with or someone else breaks up with you. You go out, you get your hair done, you get your nails done, you're feeling good about yourself and you're putting yourself out there and you know you deserve more and actually healing and reversing the stories you've told yourself in your mind for why you can't have it. The problem is a lot of us don't want to go back and heal the issues, the stories that are preventing us from having more, but that's the work that's required to get your person to fawn all over you, to get your person to choose you, to get your person to want you, to get your person to do X, Y, and Z. Absolutely. Does it go against religion? No, it doesn't. Because all you're doing is you're doing work on yourself that's like self-love work. So unless your religion is against like you loving yourself, then, you know, I don't see an issue with that. Manifestation or calling in the love of your life is not any type of magic. It's not any type of witchcraft. It's not any type of voodoo. It's you going on a self-love journey and connecting back to the truth of who you are to remind yourself that you are an incredible person, that everyone on this call right now is probably the most kind, caring, loving, giving, loyal, committed, supportive, nurturing, amazing individual that provides another person an incredible type of love. But the only reason you haven't been able to receive that from others is because of one of the few points that we spoke of. Absolutely. Either your self-concept, either your relationship with man, or you just don't feel like it's possible for you. You don't even like you can't even consider a realm where a man can show up for you, be kind, be caring, be loving, be loyal, be committed. And I'm curious to hear which gap do you feel like you're in? Which gap do you feel like you're in? Love you. (laughs) Love you too. Thank you. Which gap do you feel like you're in? Give me feedback. How many people genuinely feel like it's possible to have an emotionally mature man who worships you, adores you, chooses you, goes all in for you, never leaves you questioning about where his intentions are with you, communicates with you, provides you comfort and reassurance, and honestly is just, he has hearts in his eyes for you. He's obsessed with you. He's in love with you. He wants to be with you and he wants to build a future with you. How many of us believe that? 
How many of us believe that? It's hard to believe that with men nowadays. Exactly. Mm-hmm. See, so that's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for feedback. Thank you so for humoring me here. Not sure that I do, Sierra. So this is my thought process. This is my question. Do you feel like for Soph, Sierra, or whoever else wants to give me feedback, the reason that you feel like it's hard to is because you're holding what a past man did to you on the pedestal of if he did this, how can I possibly receive more? Everyone's going to do the same thing. How can I possibly receive more? I have them, but I don't like them. I see. So you're attracted to individuals who maybe don't like you? Tell me more. Multiple men, not one. Tell me more. I've healed trauma and self-concept with psychologists, but manifestations are still not working. Well, either you healed it or you didn't. It sounds like maybe you didn't actually heal it or you just have an issue with men now. Or you just have an issue with believing that it's possible for you. All things come down to self-concept, what you believe about men, and whether you think it's possible. So maybe you didn't actually heal it if that was your main problem and you don't have an issue with men. Um, I don't think psychologists do self-concept work, but maybe they do. P- potentially. It's possible. I, I've heard crazier things. I don't... <clears throat> not sure that I do... Da, 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 sorry. The comments are going. I think if that shows up for me, I fear it's not real and they're narcissistic. None of them are serious right now. I do believe my person is out there, but I'm getting impatient. And here's the thing. I love that. I love that comment. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. If you're becoming impatient, totally cool. I mean, totally understandable, obviously. The way that I teach, in case anybody is unaware, I heard that there are some first time people on here. So I want this to be like encouraging for you guys. It's not to set a limitation. It's not to scare anyone or anything like that. But like with me and my business and with my family members who are also coaches within my business, one of the things that I think might blow you away and might hopefully motivate and encourage you is no person that has ever worked with us has ever taken longer than 90 days to get back what they wanted. And even if they did in some extreme instances, like they were much older, meaning maybe they were in their fifties, their sixties. Um, what is our lovely girl, Ruth? She's like 60 and and Beth. I think they're in their like seventies. So in some instances, obviously there are outliers. It's not like it has to be that way every single time. But the whole reason that my page was born is because I identified as an overthinker. I come from a medical background where I'm a surgical PA, um, or at least, I mean, I, I can't say that I was, I mean, I still have my degree and all that other fun stuff. But anyway, getting back to my point is like, I was at rock bottom. My friendships were falling apart. Um, relations with my family members were falling apart. My money was falling apart. My career was falling apart. Everything was falling apart in my life way back when. And I was like, okay, I want to come online. I want to learn about self-help, growth, personal development, manifestation. My life is in the shitter. So many areas of my life are collapsing right now. I want to understand. I know I'm a good person. I know I have a kind heart. I know I have a good soul. Why is my life literally screwed? Why is everything not working out no matter how hard I try? And in some instances, when I try harder, it gets worse. Like it just gets worse. I'm like, God really needs to give me a break here. And so I started to do a lot of research and a lot of the stuff and a lot of the teachings online were like, be delusional and get what you want. That's great and all if that's your vibe. That was not my 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 vibe. I'm very self-proclaimed, like not delusional type of person, not delusional, even by 1%. I have part of me such an overactive brain. It's a joke. And so the only type of manifestation online was be delusional and get what you want. And I was like, I was dumb. Okay. So I thought that I was defective. I thought I'm like the only person manifestation doesn't work for because everyone else, everyone else is like, yeah, I was just delusional. I just believed that he was messaging me. I just believed that he was texting me. And I was like, how do you do that? Can I get like the four step process of how to believe that? Cause my brain is calling bullshit. My brain is calling bullshit and I don't understand how you're believing it. I I felt so stupid. And this is me like with a medical degree. You know what I mean? Like I graduated with, what did I graduate with? Distinction in surgery. 
And it's like, in this scenario, I swear to you, I was like, how do you believe something? Like, how do you believe it? Because there'd be some people that'd be like, just pretend he's messaging you. Pretend that he's in love with you. Pretend this, pretend that. Pretend that you have money. Pretend that you've always had money. And I'm like, how? How? Give me the four step. Give me the three step. Sell me a PDF. Give me, give me, let's get on a coaching call. How? It don't, it don't work for me, sister. It don't work for me. I don't know what you're up to. It's not working. It's not working. And your vagueness is kind of pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. Like, just believe it. Like, no shit, Sherlock. If I could have believed it, I would have believed it by now. And years of my life were passing by. And I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't getting anywhere. And I was so pissed off. And I was so frustrated. It's like year one is going by. Year two is going by. And I'm still crying myself into my pillow. And they're like, just believe it. And I was like, how? How? You wouldn't, you wouldn't like give me a little bit more? And I would even buy coaching in some instances. And all I was told was the exact same thing. Like nobody had any answers for me. So my page was birthed out of originally what I would call like manifestation for the overthinkers. Because I teach you via quantum physics how to align to the reality that you get what you want. And so every result that we've gotten, majority of them, like I'd say probably 95% of them have come within 90 days. And it's because of my own glow up story. When I got really clear and when I understood the exact equation I needed to use to problem solve the blockages in my mind, my life changed in 30 days and then it doubled in 60 days and then it doubled in 90 days. I was able to manifest around $100,000 within 90 days or $158,000 in 90 days by applying my own manifestation equation. And the manifestation equation is what we talk about and what we do in Elevate. That Basically what it is, is it tells you exactly the limiting beliefs that are stopping you from getting what you want. And not only that, but like every area of my life improved. Absolutely every area of my life improved. Like I lost a hundred pounds, like my skin cleared up, like so many different things started to come forward for me. I gained new friendships with individuals, like my relationships with my family members in increased like everything turned around (laughs) it occurred to me that you owe me 20 bucks i'm gonna cash up you oh my god (laughs) that's your guy oh my god do you remember did we do a 20 buck thing did we did you do that i don't remember i don't know anyway getting back to what i was saying (laughs) is that this is this is my logic this is my thought processes and literally it's just here to like inspire you okay like nobody get their panties in a binge I was at rock bottom zero. A lot of my clients and a lot of people that follow me are not that low, but let's just pretend we're at rock bottom zero. And I teach people to get 1% better daily and to actually like enforce consistent lifestyle changes to maintain lifelong permanent results. So people that have used my teachings come into coaching or whatever and gotten the stuff I've interviewed them even a year later and not only do they still have it, but it's gotten better and it's multiplied. So like Jasmine came to me, she was in the chat earlier. I don't know if she's still here. She came back to me because her husband was wanting to get separated and a divorce. He was like, I don't know if I'm still in love. I think I want to see other people, blah, 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 right? And then he's going out and he's doing his own thing. And she comes to me in a really difficult time. She found me on a live, just like how you guys are finding me. And she's like, I just know person is going to solve my problems. Love that. She came into coaching. We had a blast. I crafted her like a specific plan after going through the processes with her that I take my clients through. And then from there, she just went to town. She went to work. We supported each other. We went back and forth on messaging because she had a plan that had messaging attached to it in which she was able to have access to me basically 24 seven. And then from there, guess what ended up happening? Our 30 days went by, 40 days went by, 45 days come by. And this man has now come back and he is fully conformed. He's like, you know what, Jasmine, I made a huge mistake. I tried to see other people and it was just more of a reason for why we should be together. I was so dumb. I was so stupid to throw away what we had. I want to be with you. I want our family to be back together. I want to have a future with you. Not only did he get her a new ring, I think they also bought a house together. And I don't know if she's pregnant now or not, but we're trying for another baby. He's taking her on holidays, taking her on vacation. She finally activated the hubby treatment out of her husband that she had always wanted. And that's what I do with people. I help people activate the hubby energy out of your partner. 
And it's all due to like your magnetism working on the parts of your self-concept that are deficient and making them into your strength, as well as dissolving some of your past hatred, animosity, fear, pain, heartache with men. And to open you up to that possibility, to get you to literally be at your level 10 in your sense of self-worth and in your sense of confidence. Does this make sense, guys? Does this make sense? I hope it's making sense. And I know that I'm talking a lot about like women and men, but obviously we do this with men also. In the program in Elevate, it's just a little bit more catered to women because 80% of my audience is women and not a lot of my men. Like they follow me, but they don't talk to me a ton. Like they're not as vocal as my women. I'll make, we'll make our, our guy be more vocal. No, he's vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's vocal. <clears throat> a lot of times guys talk to me but lose interest rather quickly. Maybe because I don't do friends with benefits. Well, here's the thing, Jacqueline. Good if you're you. attracting men who are wanting friends with benefits, some know. part of the self-concept's off. I don't like that language. Some, I know, <laughs> FWB. <laughs> some part of the self-concept is off. Especially when dad uses it, I really don't like it's it. It's really hysterical. Very it's very hysterical when my dad says FWB. I'm like, just please don't say that, okay? It's, it's just so wrong. Honestly, hysterical. In, in many ways. So if you're getting, let's go back to what I was mentioning before. Your point of attraction is currently active. We all have an electromagnetic radius, an electromagnetic field. And who we're being dictates what we attract. Who we're being is made up of our belief systems. Our belief systems are essentially what we know to be true about ourselves, the world around us, men, women, money. Insert your desires here, right? Your belief systems are dictated by that. What you know to be true is going to dictate what you attract. Now, you may know these as small, nuanced things in your brain. You may not be actively thinking all day, every day, men are garbage. Men only come to me and offer me friends with benefits. You may not be thinking that all day, every day. But the fact of the matter is your point of attraction is always active. So right now, I want you to almost imagine a, a magnet in your heart space center. If men are coming and offering you friends with benefits, it means some part of this magnet is off. And this magnet can be influenced by your belief systems. So your belief systems are causing that to be an energetic match to you. You're not going to attract things that you're not a match to. So right now, Jacqueline is a match to friends with benefits situations Absolutely. from men. Because you're not going to attract something that's different than your belief system. You're always attracting based upon that. You're attracting based upon your belief systems, how you're feeling, your expectations. This is how you're attracting things. So this is why I came on here because I wanted to, yeah, recalibrating the magnet. That's precisely it, Josh. It. Recalibrating the magnet is what we're doing. Look at my guy, huh? <laughs> He's so smart. I wonder who his coach was. Oh, I, I wonder who his coach oh, was. Oh, there you go. So yeah, precisely. We're recalibrating the magnet. We have to do a hard reset on this magnet. We have to do a hard reset on this magnet. And when you shift your expectations, when you go inward and you do that, guess what? Men are going to react to you differently. So what I'm trying to say to everyone is if men are not showing up and wanting you, adoring you, worshiping you, choosing you, pampering you, and for my men, if your women are not doing that as well, some part of this magnet is off. Some part of this magnet is off. Realignment of the poles. Exactly. What did you say? Realignment of the poles. That was Christine, though. Oh, okay. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Maxie. Maxie is going to be joining me in the Elevate program as well as As. Both of them are in the chat. Is Zaria I'm so there? excited. Yeah, is yeah, there. That's nice. We had a yeah. call yesterday. I know. So, if you guys want to hop into this, I encourage you to. And also understand, I know you're getting a thousand hundred million emails, but we also have Black Friday sales that are still going on. I only say this for individuals that it applies to. You don't want to be sold anything? Perfectly fine. Ignore me. Ignore me. Go and benefit off my free videos. A lot of people get a lot of magic out of the free videos. But, but we're going to be restructuring that. But we're going to be restructuring a lot of things and the packages and the pricings and everything you're seeing are undergoing a makeover as I'm going through a bit of a rebrand. And so if you're being called to want to understand how to do this at a more intimate level, what's going to happen is I'm going to sit down with you and I'm going to personally problem solve the reason why your love life is in the crapper or wherever it is. You know what I mean? And I obviously say that in a playful, loving manner, but like 
I just, this is how I talk. So you'll learn my personality after a couple lives. Josh knows exactly how we talk. Exactly. It's like, we just, we're just very playful over here. So please don't get offensive or anything like that. Like, that's not the intention. Like, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to hear like what's going on, what you're attracting, how long you've been manifesting this thing. And this is why I say what I say, because I don't think I ever got to my point. It makes a lot of logical sense that if you're at rock bottom zero, which I was and many other people aren't, in 90 days, you can be 90% better. And in 90 days, via law of assumption, law of attraction, any law that you study, guess what? Your dominant assumptions or expectations, your dominant vibration, your dominant alignment dictates what you attract. I don't know about you, but 90% is way above, beyond, and more to be able to get results. So individuals that are manifesting for one year, two year, three year, four, like Dr. Seuss, something is wrong with what you're doing. Something is off. Something is wrong with what you're doing. You're not attacking the correct belief system. Maybe you don't know how to attack the correct belief system. There's inconsistency problems or maybe discipline problems or... You just need more personal one-to-one help. I mean, there's a couple different things that could be off. But the only reason I say this is because some people think that it's normal to be manifesting something for seven years. And it's not. That is definitely not normal. It's not. What if you struggle with anxiety? Does it take longer? It really depends. I had a girl that was actually a war veteran. She struggled from CPTSD, the most severe case of PTSD. I want you to hear this success story. And then I want you to hear my millionaire success story that happened in 30 days. She went from $0 to $5.5 million. It wasn't a fluke because another client came in and $0 to a million dollars in 30 days. So I'm going to drop you a couple of success stories here just to show you the proof of concept. So I want you to stick with me and realign me if I get off track because God knows that happens. So I had a girl And she came in and her partner, her SP, she wanted him more than anything in the world. We realigned her to the love that she actually wanted. And we had her become that version of herself first. We had her become the the dream woman so that she could have the dream man. Mm -hmm. Not only Mm -hmm. did she get a man to come back and that man to come back, she eventually decided SP wasn't shit. So, sorry, but that's what she decided. And so she tossed SP in the garbage. As she should have. (laughs) And she decided to take this better up-leveled version because she realized she was settling for a lot of things with SP after aligning herself to the ideal version of love she wanted. Could she have persisted? Yeah, but she didn't give two shits about him. I don't make the rules. I love it. That's what she wanted, so we did what she wanted. This man came in hot and heavy from day one, offered her the world. She just got married. She just got married. Not only that, but she also ended up dissolving her CPTSD in 21 days. 21 days, she got a man and she reversed her CPTSD. You'd think it'd stop there, but it doesn't. Oh my goodness, why are you yelling? It doesn't. (laughs) But wait, there's more. But wait. (laughs) But wait, now not every client is this much of an overachiever, but I love Cindy, so I'm always going to sing her praises. Not only did she do that, but she also had debt forgiven from the IRS Mm. amounting to $60,000. Now, she's the girl that I talked about that I interviewed a year later to see if my teachings are valid, right? Do they actually stick? Do they actually stay? Or what happens with people when they graduate out of these programs, out of this coaching? And guess what happens? This woman has now also added in a six-figure business. And like I said, the engagement. The engagement didn't happen in 21 days, but she's the one that just got married. And I'm just like completely blown away. Not only that, but she took the teachings and then she healed her children with it who have gone through severe trauma and anxiety because of how... Joelle's here because of how her ex-husband treated her and abused her in front of her children. So that's one example. Second example. So the answer to your question in short is it doesn't have to take a long time. It really depends. You quantum leap very quickly when you're working with us, right? Side by side. When you're doing everything on your own, every time you spiral, every time you have a worry or a doubt or a concern and you don't know what to do or how to do it or how to make it go away, it could take longer, right? Because when I was problem solving for myself, it took me years. But when I actually got the information, the help and support I needed, it took me 30 days. 
it took me 90 days. It didn't take me a long period of time. And that's why a lot of people invest and they see the value in having someone by your side because they're like, I'm not going to do this for another two years. Just give me the answer key to what I want. And those are the people that we work with. If you have a year to kill, and I'm not saying it's going to take that long. If you have six months to kill, if this is not a time pressure situation, you don't need to get coaching. You could just figure it out on your own. You can troubleshoot it on your own and you don't need to pay anyone a dime. We work with individuals personally who are like, I want what I want and I want it yesterday. And I'm willing to put my head down, do the work and run my freaking race. Just tell me what to do. Just put me in coach. I've got this. If I've got Persis in my pocket, if I've got Kim or Sam in my pocket, I know my ass is in butter. And so it's kind of like one of those situations. And that's what we do in the program. That's what allows a lot of people to get the results super, super fast. Going back to my millionaire success story, I had a girl that came to me. She was an um, actress and also an author, a best-selling author. She wanted, I love how your whole family is a coach. Yes, I love that. Your YouTube sleep tapes have totally shifted my confidence for the better. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. I got a wild purse in my pocket. That's hysterical. Um, my girl came to me and she wanted to unlock acting contracts in the multiple millions. She was not getting offers anywhere near that. She did my manifestation equation that I spoke of in my program. And she got a $1.5 million contract. I think $1.5 or $1.6 million contract in 30 days. She didn't stop there. None of my clients stop there because my clients are ambitious. A lot of these people are like doctors, lawyers, God knows what they are, software engineers. Sometimes they're teachers. Some, they come from all walks of life all over the world. I've literally worked with like, what, 10,000 people in 100 countries, getting people success, doing do. the Lord's work. That's what we do. And she doesn't stop at the 1.5, 1.6. She does and repeats the same process and then gets another $5.5 million contract. I mean, listen. Pardon? And then she has a $200,000 day. She had an offer from a brand for $200,000 in a day. Wow. Imagine making that much money in a day. Like when she told me this, I was like, this is drug dealer money. Mm -hmm. You know, we we're just having like a fun little play with it. Like this is drug dealer money. This is cartel money. Like you can't be telling people things like this. Like this is crazy. $200,000 in a day. In a day. My own coach made a million dollars in a month. Time collapses when you're around people who know how to shift you, who know how to shift you, who know how to move you, who know how to support you, who know how to quantum leap you. So I only say that because I don't want anyone else telling you that like, yeah, like it'll just come when it comes. Divine timing is a myth. It's fake. The only amount of time it takes is for you to mentally get your head wrapped around the result and to be that person. Be that person. It only takes that amount of time. For some people, when they come into these programs, that takes them all of 24 hours. I've had individuals get rid of third parties in 24 hours. And some people take years. So just don't let anyone try to fool you. Just don't let anyone try to fool you by saying, you know what, it'll come when it comes. No. It'll come when you start believing it. It'll come when you do that work. And when you do it diligently and consistently, when you be that person, the only amount of time it takes is the time for you to mentally wrap your head around the result. Absolutely. Maybe that comes in 90 days. Maybe it comes in 120 days. It'll come in the time that you do that. It's not going to take a second longer than that, though. It's not going to take a second longer. So if something's not moving right now, it just means, oh my goodness, so many roses. Thank you. Um, it just means that you haven't actually gotten your head around it. You haven't actually dissolved your limitations. You haven't actually reprogrammed your subconscious mind. You haven't actually like healed from your past. You haven't actually shifted your expectations around men or money or business. How much of you believes that right now, right here and right now? A lot of people said no. And that's the work that we're doing with individuals. So if you guys want to hop on a call where we can literally sit and like tell you what we're up to of what is the strategy what is the tactics what is the procedure to get men hooked to you like honestly like bees to honey like a monkey on a cupcake type of scenario like my father would say like come and get a call and learn about elevate or go and link in my bio and just click on it look at it see if it meets your needs we also have things like personal coaching if that type of program is not your vibe and you'd rather just hang out with us one-to-one 
the people in personal coaching a lot of times get like call coaching packages where we sit and we talk and we break things down on calls again and again and again. I give them a custom plan. Kim and Sam give them a custom plan and we work with individuals in all budgets. There's lower ticket options of coaching and higher ticket options of coaching. And obviously the higher ticket options are the ones that are like the unlimited packages. Unlimited packages mean whether you message us one time or a hundred times, you just pay one flat fee. And then basically we are of service to you for whatever period of time. And like I said, whether you have one question or a hundred questions, that's what it is. You know what I mean? And so we definitely are in that space. And so if you know you're really ready to make a change and you're really ready to be super disciplined and you want to be handling, or sorry, want to be handling, want to be handed, pardon me, um, the answer key to your desire on a silver platter, please reach out. Please reach out because we are going to be up leveling our coaching and our packages and our programs and stuff like that. And I want to be very transparent that get in now if you can, even on a payment plan. Like we literally do as much as we can to work with people within their budgets. That's why we have like low ticket options, mid ticket options, high ticket options. Like there's literally something probably for everyone. You know what I mean? And so we want to be able to work with people, like we said, that are ambitious, not individuals that are like victimized by their scenario and woe is me and the world is against me. Please don't even get anything. Please do not even get anything. You're going to need to get more stable because it's going to require a tremendous amount of self-accountability. And a lot of people, when they come into coaching, they get a little bit worried. They're like, oh, shoot. I'm going to actually have someone that's going to hold me accountable. And I have to sit and and deal with my limitations. And I have to sit and deal with my limitations. And some of them scare themselves out of even signing up because they're like, oh, I'm worried. You know what I mean? But a lot of times, like, I practice what I preach. I invest in myself, like, six figures annually to up-level myself constantly. I'm a big believer of being around individuals that have a bigger energy than myself. And if you want to be in the energy of someone that knows how to lead you to the finish line. Remember, we won't be able to go into your mind and do the work, but we can tell you everything you need to do, how to do it, when to do it. We can tell you the exact formula to get you what you want. You just have to be willing to do it. You've just got to do it. I'm going to take you to the water, but I can't make you drink. Mm -mm. I can tell you this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. I can provide you 100 different mindset shifts. I can provide you 47 million techniques. But if you don't do it, no one can save you. And the thing is, is that we'll know you're doing it because your results will change. We'll know you're doing it because your results will change. There's no option where you do the work and you don't get the result. Because energy is energy. And when you shift your energy, energy shifts. Sorry, I have to Applied brag on my client. She is just power. sent me a text message. Oh, boy. Oh We're already boy. getting I success. Gotta, I got to brag on my girl, B. B? Okay. We'll just call her B. Okay, so I just want to share some successes. I've been putting my nose second. to the grind, and movement was immediate. What? Shut the front door. Last Shut week, up. I got more movement with SP's family, his brother-in-law, and I are playing, okay, an online Scrabble game, which is amazing. On Thanksgiving, I used to play those. Games. I received two sweet messages from both of his aunts and his sister, who added me on Facebook after first deleting me. After first deleting me, Ooh, best of all, deleting. SP's coming in hot. Oh, he bought me the most shit. beautiful bouquet of flowers on Thanksgiving. I want flowers. And it's why doesn't so, anyone send me hello, flowers? Stop this. Has been so sweet and romantic, just like when we first met. I'm so proud of myself, Mama. Girl, this is what I'm talking about. Do you hear, like, the the Southern girl? This is what I'm talking about. It was immediate. And this is the thing. This is what I'm talking about. That's actually so serendipitous that that happened, like, right now. So what services do you recommend we start with? The first thing I'd probably recommend, and this is just going to be, like, a general thing. Like, I'm going to give you a couple different options here and now because we want to go out and do some Saturday stuff as well, and I'm holding the family up, and yes, I have not eaten breakfast. Yes, we need to go do some cyber shopping. So, 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 so. This is what I'm going to tell you. First thing you can do is in the link in my bio, there's a website that says, or sorry, there's a link that says My Offers. Or you can just go www.manifestwithpersis.com. Okay? I'm going to put it in the chat.
is where any of my regulars can put it in the chat too. Look at her flowers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I get flowers? Oh my God. I want flowers, guys. Who wants to send me flowers? Ashley's flowers died. Um, I can't ma believe dad made you throw them out. Listen, this is I'm going to give him a stern talking to. Listen, Nobody touches me. my flowers. I'm not, this is not me. Why did you touch things? That is not, those not are not your flowers. Dad. dad did not touch those flowers. I'm going to bang this water bottle over your head. I'm, I'm dead serious. Dad took the flowers out and threw them away. Dad told this be too. You can blame your father. I'm going to blame him. I'm going to blame him. <clears throat> Getting back to what I was saying. I have the attention span of a butterfly. So, link in my bio has offers. You can see there's two main things that are happening right now. One is the Elevate program. I highly highly, highly oh recommend the Elevate program. <laughs> if you're a woman who wants to step into her high value woman energy, you want to activate your freaking goddess energy. You want to know your hot shit. You want to break your codependency with men and you want to become a magnet to being loved, adored, pampered, spoiled, chosen, worshiped. You want to get the queen treatment. You want to get the ring. Girl, you want to get it all. You want to get it all. You want to up level yourself so freaking high. You want to literally have one of those villain origin stories. Okay, you want to have one of those villain origin stories where you're like, I'm sick and tired of being the woman that gives the most and receives the least. Elevate all the information, the pricing, the payment plans, everything is in the bio. Listen, I, if anyone wants to book a call, we have slots open tomorrow also to learn more. Yeah, there's, there's slots tomorrow to learn about the Elevate program. So if you click on the link in my bio, you click the Elevate one, you scroll down, you'll read about it, you'll see the pricing, you'll see the options, and it'll get an opportunity for you to book a call. When you book a call, you're going to talk to the woman that you've been hearing in the background, and she's going to tell you all about it. If it sounds like it's a good match and you feel like you're ready to up-level yourself in that category, we can enroll you and sign you up. We're literally starting in like a week. You don't have a lot of time. You don't have a ton of time. I'm be completely honest. Maybe a week, I think. I don't know. I don't know what today is. We'll figure that out it's later. Saturday. That doesn't help me. I don't it's know the, the date. I don't know. Maybe a week. I can't remember. I can't remember right now. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Second option that you have is we have some Black Friday personal sales going on where the King and Queen package with Kim and Sam um, basically has an extra call thrown in. So when you purchase the King and Queen package with Kim and Sam, you get an extra third call and a month of unlimited messaging for the exact same price. All you have to do is get it and then send us an email to the manifest with Persis at Gmail, which you'll get in your confirmation email. Or send us a DM, let us know. We're literally on all the platforms. And once again, everything's in the bio. The third Black Friday offer is um, my personal coaching. So my personal coaching for the King and Queen gets $500 off. So there's so many different ways to, off, um, to get like Black Friday sales, Black Friday discounts. But what, one thing I'd offer you to do is check out Elevate. The reason I encourage you to get Elevate is because you're getting three times more of the time with us for one third of the price. If you want to do one to one with us, that's fine. It's just not going to be the same length of time. But you get us all to yourself. So there's perks and benefits to both. There's also ways to couple elevate with personal coaching where you get that custom plan that custom routine one-to-one -one sections and when you work on your subconscious programming you are going to up level all areas of your life by consequence that's just how it works that's just how it happens a lot of people do love work self-love work and then they manifest like five figures oh six God. figures people get money people have weight loss it people is have so weight loss too i had a girl who's working on sp and she lost weight yeah she lost weight she lost weight. Um, she because she did the self love work the way that we told her to. Completely no contact with her person, and her person came in. She's like, I'm not even doing this. I'm we've had people, me. we've had people who have moved countries to be with our clients. Hello, my girl. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. We've had people move countries <laughs> to be with engaged. our clients, and she's engaged. Yeah. I want to set a record for how many engagements I can get people. If you're ready. Mm. Let's go. You know where to find me. Let's go, people. That's all I'm going to say. You're wasting time. 
That's all I'm going to say. If you want your results within 90 days, I'd start to look at resources. I'd start to look at resources. Um, and if it's confusing at all to you, send us an email. Manifestwithpersis at gmail. We'll try to point you in the right direction and go from there. Are you still having people book calls that they don't know what's right for them, like coaching-wise? I, ha I haven't that done off? that. In, I haven't taken it off. I just don't have, like, I don't have the link public. I see. Gotcha. Why? Do you want I'm me? just saying if people, okay, what's the right program for me? What fits my budget? Mm -hmm. What kind of help do I need? How we were doing those calls, remember? Yeah, I do remember that. If anybody is confused. Yeah. You know? We can absolutely do that. But what I would recommend first and foremost is peak the site. Peak the site, peak the program, because, yeah, the stuff that's in it is kind of crazy. And peak the personal coaching. And then send us an email. Girl, we got some chopping to do. We do. Are there any other questions that I can answer you guys about the logistics before I go off and have my Saturday? I understand the concept of manifestation. I just have trouble applying it to different parts of my life. Well... We can work with you and we can help you. Absolutely. It's totally up to you. Get you on that right path, girl. Because the thing is, if it's working for one area but not others, it means you probably have a very specific blockage, to be quite frank with you. But it's good that you know that it's working in some um, areas that. of your life. Because it's probably like a very small shift. And you can even do things like single calls. Like there are packages available with Kim and Sam, who are the individuals that you're hearing, um, literally tomorrow. You want to talk to them? Literally tomorrow. Literally tomorrow, you can go grab it right now. I don't know when my next availability is. I will say that if you want to work with me, it mm. takes a couple weeks up to a month to talk to me because I'm very, 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 very booked out because a lot of people get crazy results and then they book up my packages. <laughs> um, so definitely try to get on something sooner than later. Unless you're in the king and queen package, then you can skip the line. But that's the only time people can skip the line. How do you keep track and remember everyone's specific journey when you're coaching lots of people? People are just memorable. People are just memorable. They just have like a really good story. Everyone's story is unique, right? Just because I haven't spoken of a specific person's story in a while, like believe me, they're all archived in my brain. Like remember that time? I don't know how long you've been around, but there was also a time where we, we focused on a lot of health stories. There was a gentleman who came to me with a life-threatening blood clot and cancer. And in four days of using my equation, but applying it to the cancer and the blood clot, he got rid of it. We remember people. We remember. Remember. remember that girl that you reversed her blindness I, she, she was, she's been working on that. I haven't heard from her in a minute. I actually tried reaching out to her. Yeah. But she was getting improvements. Yeah. You know? Literally reversed her blindness. Literally reversed her blindness. I remember. She was one of my first clients. She went from not being <laughs> sighted to being able to, like, beat her dad in video games. Yeah. What? Definitely. Pardon? Definitely. Just call me Dr. Joe Dispenza. Definitely. Dr. Joe is definitely going to be my husband now, though, because after, like, going there and meeting him and having a fun time with him and stuff like that, oh, my goodness, I'm obsessed. In case you guys haven't seen my video on Dr. Joe, I may post more about that. And you're going to learn some Dr. Joe teachings. Um, you're going to learn some Dr. Joe teachings in the Elevate program. It's going to be really fun. Maybe a dumb question, but at one point in time, should I probably use my call number three in a package? Whenever you feel like you're slipping and you need it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Whenever you feel like you're slipping. Do you have videos on YouTube I can watch? Yes, Starboy. So in the link in my bio, all my social medias are linked. I'd recommend you doing a follow or a subscribe across all the platforms that are there because there are a lot of posers trying to be me. So don't try to look me up. Just use my bio and just click the official pages. Like I have an official Facebook group. I have an Instagram. I have a YouTube um, and you can see different types of content over there. I have one hour long interview success stories where people come on and talk about how my teachings have changed their life. They're engaged, they're married, they're popping out babies. I even have a video, you know what, I'll end it here, but I want everyone, I have homework for you. Your job right now is to click onto my profile after you look at whatever you want to look at. Um, or just do it now and then look at whatever you want to look at, is go see the um, video of my coach who got her ex back in 11 hours. Emma got Ben back in 11 hours. Really? <laughs> go check that out. Go check that out and then tell me more. Tell me more. Share it with a friend. Tell me more. She got him back in 11 hours. There are people that do this work for years. 
and they do not get those types of results. But their mindset is different. Their mindset is different. They're able to put that person on the side and compartmentalize them and be like, I really deserve to feel good about myself. Absolutely. And I'm doing this work for me. I have the intention for them, but they cannot be my primary focus because if I keep focusing on them, guess what? It's not getting me any movement. I want movement. I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel strong. I want to feel empowered. I want to feel confident. I want to know what it's like to be the man or woman who has it all. And when they come in with that type of mentality and they're able to trust us and do the work to the letter, to the T that it's described, their lives are unrecognizable in the first 30 days alone. Absolutely. People who have come down and put their head down and put their nose to the grind, it does not take long. My girl, she's like, tell me what to do and I will do it. And in 90 days, she got her person back in under 90 days. Yeah. She's but like, you can't. I'm so sick of this shit. Yeah, but you can't come in and be like, just tell me what to do to get them back. No, you, you know what I mean? The, you have to put in the work. You have yeah. to change your mindset. You have to do that, and you have to want your own stability for you. For you. For you. Where's the video? It's on my page. So my girl got her person back, her ex back, in eleven hours. So if you just click onto my page, it'll be easier. You can get a single call, Star Boy. It, it'll be under coaching with Kim and Sam in the link in my bio. Anyone's confused, manifest with Persis at Gmail. Anyone's confused, manifest with Persis at Gmail. You can get a single call and talk to someone and then go from there. You can literally get a call tomorrow. So how about we all just talk tomorrow <laughs> and we'll go from there. But see the video first and then you can go to my YouTube and also see like hour long success stories of people like reversing their HIV, like reversing their cancer, getting engaged, people moving countries, like doing crazy, crazy things with these techniques. When you know where you're blocked and what to do to shift it, your life changes in an instant. Your life can look different even by the end of this year. And I just want to be that sense of encouragement that I'm not special. My clients are not special. And I mean that in the most like respectful way possible. It's just that when you shift energy, your result has to change. We aren't special in the sense that it just works for us and it doesn't work for you. The law doesn't have some type of vetting system where it's like, okay, Starboy, denied. We hate him. It doesn't have some type of vetting system where it's like, Benjamin, denied. We don't like him. We don't like his hair color. We don't like his skin color. We don't like his race. No. When you do the work 110%, you get the result 110%. The end. We aren't special. We just did it. We just did it. We just found our blockages and we shifted them. And when we shifted them, we shifted our energy. And when we shifted our energy, we shifted what we attract and we got it all. We got it all. So I hope this has encouraged you for individuals who are brand new I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I have so many up levels coming in my own personal life. And so much more is on the way. But I want to encourage you. Is it scary? No, it's not scary. Even if you feel like it's scary, like we're going to be there to help you. So it, it, you're going to be supported. It might be scary on your own. I don't know. It was scary for me on my own. I hated it. I, I freaking hated it. I'd rather pay money to a person, that's just me personally, to be told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and be supported. Like, I will, I will never do things on my own again. Mm-hmm. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like, Taylor Swift, like, never, ever, 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 ever. Ever? Ever. Ever. Because I just think that it's, it's worth the price that you pay to have the luxury of the support Because when you're doing it on your own, I don't know about you, but I was scared shitless and I was always doubting myself and I was always worried and I was always concerned whether I was doing it right. And that in itself was what made me be someone who was manifesting for five years. You know what I mean? Manifesting for whatever amount of time. And so when you have someone, I just feel like it's worth the price to pay that thing Because then whenever you have the doubt, the worry, the concern, the fear, the this, that, and you get scared, you can just reach out to someone and they can just tell you like exactly what you need. 
And so you're collapsing time significantly. Imagine if every time I got freaked out and I spiraled on it, like it was delaying me by two weeks. It just takes longer. And sometimes you, you get it. You get it and you don't need to do anything. And like I said, it's for a very specific person. It's for a very specific person. Because for me, I'm a type of person that I'd rather pay a premium and get it fast than do it on my own. Like I'm not trying to sit here and, and be a big girl. I'm not. I'm just not. That's just not my style. That's not my style. I'd rather pay and get it done. That's, that's just me. Because I know I'm a super disciplined person and, and when I'm presented things in the manner in which I learn, I get it. I get it. You know? Everybody has different preferences. Maybe that resonates with you. Maybe it doesn't. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. After my first call with your mom, the first guy to ever break my heart reached out after years. Who is that? Christine. Oh. I love that. We've had so much validation. Oh, yeah, Christine. On this call alone about like the teachings working and them working really, really fast. We just want the individuals. <laughs> Dad's here. Oh my God. He's like, how to get my SP back. That's so funny. That's my dad right there. That's Sam. Of course dad's there. Of course. We were just talking about FWB dad. We were just talking <laughs> about he's FWB. To be working? He's supposed to be working. See, this is what I say all the time. That's my dad. He's one of my um, coaches. All so right. dad and mom are coaches. Well, and dad was like, somebody told me they have an FWB. And my dad's like, what's FWB? And do you know how awkward it is to have to explain to your father what an FWB is? Oh, my God. He should be working. He should be working. He's not working. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. He's not working. That's funny. He's come to rain on my parade. Yeah, mom's over here celebrating, and now dad's coming in and raining on her He's parade. He's going to brag on his people now. Oh, yeah. Dad got dad's girl. Um, went from like zero dollars a month in her business to like twenty thousand dollar months in her business. Yeah, that's okay. Dad had a guy who wanted an SP like more than he wanted oh, to breathe. Yes, yes, yes. And then he came in, and a, a while back, he got a completely new woman who was above, beyond, better, and more. See, a lot of people when they do this self love work, they have this inner knowing that their person is their person, and sometimes it ends up happening that way. And sometimes you end up getting way more above and beyond than what you could have ever fathomed possible. <laughs> And at that's the why end, we tell people to be open to new love. And that's why we just tell people to be open because you, you don't want to block your blessing. At the end of the day, you should just want whoever's going to treat you the best, commit to you the best, be the most loyal, be the most spoiling, be the most loving. We're going to align you to the highest version of love, humanly possible. The highest version of money, humanly possible. The highest version of health, humanly possible. The highest version of business, humanly possible. But then I just like to say to people, because it at least allows you to detach a little bit and not have this white knuckle grip of like just being open, treat it almost like a scientist and let the universe, let the world, let God, let, let the universe work in your favor, let, let things like happen, let things surprise you and then take your pick from there. Be open. Take your pick from there. Be open. Because a lot of times when you do the work, you do realize that Joe Schmo wasn't much. Wasn't all he cracked up to be, you know? But the reason that you were so attracted to Joe Schmo was because your self-concept was at a 2 out of 10. So you were attracted to another person who was very 2 out of 10. But when your self-concept becomes 8 out of 10, a lot of times you do lose attraction. Not always, but some of the times you lose attraction to 2 out of 10 Timmy. Because now you're 8 out of 10 Sarah. And now you're like, uh, I don't really, that was embarrassing. You know what I mean? It's like, imagine this. I'll give you an example before I let you go. Imagine this. Imagine that I tell you that you're going to end up with your crush from middle school or from high school. How many of you would be actually genuinely excited right now? Probably none. You'd be like, oh my God, that was so embarrassing. I can't believe I had a crush on Josh. I can't believe I had a crush on Sarah. I can't believe I had a crush on Stephanie. I can't believe I had a crush on Fernando. Fernando. That was so embarrassing. That was so embarrassing. Fernando's, what's the guy's name at um, Chili's? Ferdy. Ferdy, yeah. I have a crush on Ferdy. <laughs> I have a crush on Ferdy. I have a crush on him, for sure. I have a crush on Dr. Joe. I have a lot of crushes, apparently. You would honestly be like, oh my gosh, Kelly. Never. I would never want that. And a lot of times we outgrow our crushes when we do the self-love work. 
Make your number one priority feeling freaking incredible about yourself and your life will be unrecognizable. It has no choice but to be that. There's no way that you do this work and you're robbed of your result. If you're robbed of the result, it means you didn't do the work, which is why it requires an incredible amount of self-accountability. Where are you, like my father would um, you know, say, shitting the bed? Mm. Where are you shitting the bed? We can't be bed shitters. We can't be bed shitters and get what we want. Not possible. Not possible. And I say it lovingly, but it's just true. Like law is law. When you shift energy, your result has to shift. If your result isn't shifting, it means your energy has not shifted. And that's not a personal attack. That's just honesty. Like I can't change science for people who may not like that statement. Like the law is just the law. Like that's above my pay grade. I can't do anything about that. All I can tell you is that the result that you're having right now is perfect for where your energy is. And if you want more, you have to shift your energy to get more. Absolutely. Shift your energy independently or shift it with us. Either or is great. Either or is beautiful. There are many people who never pay us a dime. There are other people who are like, I want it now. Take my money. I'm going to do the work. I'm really tired of this three-year on and off relationship, but I only want him, I swear. And your need for him is probably what's keeping him away. Yep. And in our program, we're going to help you drop that need and not need him. Because the more you need him, the more you will keep him away. Once again, that is just energetic law. Energetic law. You ready, girl? Yep. Where are we going to go eat? We are going to go wherever you want to eat, and then we're going to go to Coles. All right. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Go get your call for Elevate in the link in my bio. You want to get men obsessed, worshipped, adoring you, choosing you, wanting you, committing to you, changing for you. It comes with prioritizing yourself first. Come in this program if you're ready to prioritize yourself and feel freaking incredible. Step into your goddess energy and get men to worship you. But if you're just like, how do I get men to worship you? And can I still feel shit about myself? That's not the case. You're going to need somebody else to help you. That's not us. I only want you to feel freaking incredible about yourself every single day. To look at yourself in the mirror and to know that you are the freaking prize and that you deserve the whole world. And if you're not interested in loving yourself, this is not for you. And I am not for you. You can unfollow me. You can block me. You can put me to the side and go find someone else. But I just know how energetic law works. And I know that when you're ready to go all in on your self-love practice, you end up getting that person by consequence. It's just the law. It's just natural. It's just how it works. The single call is going to be when you click the link in my bio and you click the part that says my offers and you scroll down, there's my offers and then there's coaching with Kim and Sam. Coaching with Kim and Sam is the one you need to click to do single calls. It's called a consultation call. And the call packages of like three call, unlimited, everything like that is available as well as one call as soon as tomorrow. You just got to click under coaching with Kim and Sam, coaching with the fam, and it's right there. Have any questions, manifest with Persis at Gmail. Go and stock the YouTube, the Insta. See all the incredible success stories. Be inspired and change your life. 2024, my goal is to get as many people, money, love, commitment as humanly possible. You want to join us on that journey? We'd love to be the person to help make you a success story and interview on this live. Oh, I got a success story coming soon. You hear that, Sass? Oh, yeah. We got one coming soon, girl. I'll talk to you soon.